Revolutionizing space travel is no easy feat. Ever since SpaceX laid out their ambitious plan to make humanity interplanetary, they have been a target of criticism, with many accusing them of unrealistic expectations and false promises. However, behind the curtains, the company has championed forward with its vision and now stands on the precipice of greatness. Today, let's talk about how SpaceX is actively proving its doubters wrong and how they plan to make their goal of colonizing Mars a reality. Back in 2016, when the SpaceX Starship was introduced, billionaire Elon Musk faced widespread skepticism and even mockery. Many people considered it nothing more than a project that would burn through money without ever taking flight. However, SpaceX had a strong response to all the doubts. This response not only explains Musk's unwavering confidence, but also highlights the extraordinary nature of the Starship. It's not about criticizing others. It's about proving that SpaceX's Starship is truly something remarkable. Of course, it's only natural for people to have doubts and reservations, but SpaceX was determined to challenge those doubts head on. It all starts with the Starship's remarkable rocket engine, known as the Raptor. This engine, a feat of engineering on its own, broke records by achieving the highest combustion chamber pressure ever recorded at 350 bars, generating over half a million pounds of force. What sets the Raptor apart is its utilization of the full-flow stage combustion cycle, a historically challenging process to implement. This cycle involves using a pre-burner to initiate the spinning of a turbine that drives the engine. Typically, in traditional open-cycle engines, some propellant is expensive to start this process, but the Raptor makes use of every drop of available propellant, making it one of the most efficient rocket engines ever built. The Raptor engine operates at such high fuel pressure that it manages to steer the fire from the pre-burner back into the combustion chamber, ensuring complete combustion of the propellant. As Charlie Garcia, a space consultant from MIT, explains, Raptor has a much higher pressure than Merlin, about three times greater. This higher pressure results in a larger thrust output than its similarly sized counterparts. Elon Musk, in 2016, referred to the immense pressure inside the Raptor's main chamber, measuring 300 bars. This extraordinary pressure necessitated the development of a new metal alloy. Furthermore, the Starship boasts the pioneering use of methane as its rocket fuel. While no methane-powered rocket had ever made it to orbit before the Starship's test flight, known as Starhopper, Methane offers unique advantages. It prevents the formation of deposits within the engine, a process known as coking, which commonly occurs with other fuels like kerosene. Methane's higher performance allows for reduced costs. Traditionally, the two preferred rocket fuels have been kerosene, RP1, and hydrogen. For instance, the Saturn V used kerosene, while the space shuttle employed hydrogen. The choice of these fuels primarily depends on energy output and storage capabilities. Hydrogen, when burned with oxygen, releases a tremendous amount of energy, making it an ideal candidate for generating high-velocity rocket exhaust. However, storing hydrogen presents significant challenges due to its high vapor pressure, leading to rapid boiling and unsuitability for long-term storage in metal tanks. Hydrogen can also cause hydrogen embrittlement in metal storage tanks, diminishing their strength over time. On the other hand, kerosene, particularly the highly refined RP-1, is a favored choice for rocket propellant. It can be stored in a liquid state on the launch pad for extended periods without causing issues. However, the main problem with kerosene is the formation of unwanted byproducts, primarily soot during combustion. This soot can accumulate and eventually clog engine components, making reuse without refurbishment challenging. As the Raptors aim to be as reusable as possible, methane emerged as an ideal solution. Although not as energetically potent as hydrogen, methane possesses the advantage of being storable in metal containers for prolonged periods and does not suffer from the same coking issues as kerosene. Additionally, Methane can be produced relatively easily on the surface of Mars, unlike kerosene, making it the fuel of choice for a rocket vehicle designed to launch to and from the Red Planet. But the wonders don't end there. Imagine a mind-boggling concept. The ability to refuel your spacecraft while floating in the vast expanse of space. As it turns out, approximately half of all the energy expended when embarking on a journey within our solar system, whether it's to the moon, Mars, or even the outer planets, is spent simply reaching Earth's orbit. This conundrum arises from the fact that for every kilogram of payload carried, an equal amount of fuel is required to lift it into orbit. And yet, 
That fuel also needs additional fuel to lift the initial amount, leading to an exponential need for an outrageously large rocket just to venture anywhere at all. However, there is a brilliant exception to this predicament, the ability to refuel your rocket while it gracefully glides in orbit. And that is precisely the ingenious plan for Starship's in-orbit refueling. The significance of in-orbit refueling cannot be overstated. It is a pivotal step towards freeing ourselves from the confines of our planet. Recognizing its importance, NASA has joined forces with SpaceX to tackle this formidable challenge. The master plan is as audacious as it is groundbreaking. A single starship will be sent into orbit, blazing the trail for future expeditions. Following closely behind, a sequence of additional tanker starships will ascend, rendezvousing with the first starship and transferring their surplus fuel. By this ingenious maneuver, the capacity of starship to embark on journeys to various destinations in our solar system will effectively double. However, let us not underestimate the monumental obstacles that lie ahead. The task at hand is no small feat. While SpaceX has demonstrated its proficiency in automatic docking through its Dragon Demo missions to the International Space Station, transferring substantial amounts of propellant between two spacecraft of this magnitude has never been attempted before in the vast expanse of space. Liquids have a tendency to spread out within their containers, complicating the delicate transfer process. The successful execution of this intricate ballet will require precise coordination and unparalleled cooperation between the two starships involved. Yet, despite the immense challenges, SpaceX remains undeterred. Another aspect of the starship that drew significant skepticism was its unconventional choice of stainless steel as the primary construction material. Critics argued that stainless steel was relatively heavy compared to the carbon composites commonly used in the aerospace industry. They raised concerns about its impact on weight efficiency and overall performance. When deciding on the material for constructing a rocket body, Numerous options are quickly eliminated due to various requirements. The chosen material must possess a multitude of desirable properties. It should be strong enough to support the weight of the rocket, payload, and propellant, while also being light enough to avoid becoming a significant weight contributor. Moreover, it must be capable of handling extreme temperature swings during cryogenic fuel storage and the scorching heat encountered during re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. While the majority of rockets use aluminum or titanium for their main body, with other parts often made of carbon composites, the Starship defied convention by utilizing a combination of 301 and 304 L stainless steel, titanium, and aluminum. Stainless steel exhibits impressive temperature resistance, capable of withstanding temperatures ranging from 1,500 to 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit, surpassing the limits of titanium and aluminum, which tend to fail between 300 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, steel demonstrates increased strength in low cryogenic temperatures, providing an advantage over the other materials. Carbon composites possess promise as lightweight and strong materials, but their cost remains a significant drawback when compared to steel. Elon Musk stated that in 2019, SpaceX was spending nearly $1.200 per kilogram of carbon fiber compared to a mere $3 per kilogram for steel. This transition to steel allowed SpaceX to prototype and iterate the Starship design at a rapid pace, which would have been unfeasible if they had stuck with carbon composites. The journey of the SpaceX Starship has been marked by skepticism, doubts, and countless technical challenges. However, through the relentless pursuit of innovation and unwavering determination, SpaceX has managed to defy the initial doubters and silence the skeptics. The ability to confront doubts head-on and overcome complex technical hurdles stands as a testament to SpaceX's ingenuity, resilience, and unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of human achievement. As the Starship continues to evolve and reach new milestones, it paves the way for a future where space travel and colonization become routine. SpaceX's legacy is one of daring to dream big, challenging the status quo, and ultimately proving the skeptics wrong. It remains to be seen if the Starship can finally make it to orbit with its upcoming test flight, and what the final iteration of the craft will look like as development continues. What do you think? Can SpaceX have the Starship ready in time for the Artemis mission later this decade? Remember to like and subscribe as we continue to follow the development of this revolutionary craft.